Hey guys, Suresh here from TMCB and in today's video let's talk about day 16 and 100 days of code learning in Python. So without much further delay, let's directly get into the video. Okay, before entering into the video, I would first of all request all of you to click on the subscribe button so that you guys don't miss any of the content that I'm trying to put out in this 100 days of core learning in Python. And it will also be my humble request if you guys can also put down any of the resources or materials or websites that you guys are trying to learn in the comment section so that any viewers or anyone who falls upon or who watches this video will also be helped from y'all who are the viewers and who are also trying to develop a community of the programming languages in order to learn. Now getting into the video, I've been learning Python from day 1 to day 15. For the guys who have not followed me from day 1 to day 15, I would first recommend you all to first go watch that particular video in order to understand the whole journey of my Python learning from day 1 to day 15. In today's video, I'm actually not going to talk about Python because I've pretty much learned the basics of Python. It's I just have to go and probably relearn it and probably take up the books and brush up again everything. So I thought, let's try something new, but it shouldn't be like a different programming language. It should be something related to it in order to motivate me or inspire me. And this was, there was this right course that I happened to choose, which was from Code Academy. If you guys do not know what Code Academy is, Code Academy is pretty much a website which teaches you or which is like an e-learning content platform, which teaches you many programming languages, many technical courses related to computer science and computer engineering or software development. It has courses from web, web stack full development to Merge stack and all of these things are there. I like a couple of courses that is there on Code Academy. So when I was just going through this particular uh, website, I happened to fall upon this uh, particular small course which said, LGBTQ plus stems icon. Now you all know what LGBTQ stands for. I don't have to explain that, but I was really surprised to see this particular term in an e-content learning, which is for computer science. And I was shocked and it sort of created a curiosity in me. And I went upon enrolling into that course, which is a free course. Like you don't have to pay for it. It's absolutely free. I will also give the link for that particular website in the description so you guys can click on it and go search LGBTQ plus STEMS icon. Now what is this course about? This course is about all the LGBTQ community who had developed a lot of things uh, and who have contributed a lot of things for the technical or the IT field or the computer engineering field or the software development field from IBM to various big organizations, there have been people who have been contributed, but we just failed to recognize all of these brilliant masterminds just for the fact that they're LGBTQ. Now that is something that I went through and I felt really sad for them, but you will not believe most of the chipsets that you use in mobile nowadays has been developed and invented by an LGBTQ member. Uh, your IBM's, the most of the chipsets that was found uh, initially was developed and invented by an LGBTQ member. Like that, there are so many other people who have contributed to this particular field. And that's what I wanted you all to go and first, you know, take a look at it and get inspired by it. And, you know, this, this probably is not related to programming language, but for you or in order to learn something, you definitely need inspiration. Without inspiration, you might learn, but you might not have that thump in, in yourself in order to learn at a fast space, right? So that's why I usually take inspirations uh, very often. Weekly ones, I try reading blogs by any of the founders like Mark Zuckerberg or Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos and read their quotes. You know, it sort of inspires me and it sorts of uh, allows me to, you know, open up myself more and be like, oh yeah, this is correct. What he or she said is absolutely true. For example, I happen to watch a movie called The American Gangster and there is a sweet line quote uh, in that film. The, the gangster says, the loudest one in the room is the weakest one and the quietest one in the room is the one who knows everything and that's why he's really quiet. Now things like these is what I take up and I try implementing in my coding journey or in my learning journey. Now that's where I try and inspire myself and then you know give it a day or two brush up whatever I've learned and then I just sit with fresh mind 
and restart my entire journey again and then learn all new things which sits in my mind and I don't forget them because usually what happens is people sit straight for 100 days of learning uh, any particular programming language and what they tend to forget is any human being can remember uh, anything that he learns maximum for 21 days that's what scientifically is being told but i actually don't even remember for three days or four days so i have to keep brushing up or you know keep relearning things every uh seven days or six days or even five days for a matter of fact so that's why i thought probably let's learn for four days and then probably give it a stop learn something else related to computer engineering field or computer uh, field not not anything else i'm not trying to tell learn programming for the first 6 days and then the seven day let's go learn cricket or football no you have to stay in the same field but so that you know you develop skills on either side right like you also know the back end now and you also know what programming languages are you by going through all of these lgbtq plus uh, stem icons i understood what is a chip i understood what chips has been used in mobile I understood why was the chip even invented in the first place because there is description for all this and I have explained everything in brief in in that particular course so for day 16 I would recommend and request all of you all to go check out that LGBTQ plus stem icon so with this I will end today's video and I will meet you on tomorrow's video which is day 17 and it's going to be a really interesting topic it's a free course which I'm going to talk about tomorrow but it's it's got it's got loads of content I am yet to finish that course that's why I'm not talking about it in today's video let me first finish that course and then probably it's much easier for me to explain in order to tell you what i learned from it and what i understood and what you will learn from it so yeah i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace